booming on the Total Store Expo show floor as thousands of chain drugstore professionals gather for the most groundbreaking show in our industry. More to come on NACDS TV. So many success stories happen right here on the Total Store Expo show floor. From new technologies being introduced in pharmaceuticals to international manufacturers breaking into the U.S. market, it all starts with NACDS. Hi everybody, I'm Sarah Solomon with NACDS TV and we're going to walk you through some of the magic that takes place here at Total Store Expo, starting with NACDS TV's Jackie Herrera. Jackie? Thanks, Sarah. And you know, you're absolutely right. The trade show floor is an opportunity for people to meet with potential clients and build business. Now, there's an international presence here, and we caught up with one man who says that NACDS has built his business in ways unimaginable. The world's biggest retailer are interested in our product. That makes make us happy. And without the NACDS, we might not have the opportunity to speak to them at this pace, okay? Trying to make an appointment, traveling there, and this and that, and not maybe not speaking to the right person. NACDS allow us to speak to the right person at the right time and there's no time wasted. So far we've had a number of meetings with different retailers and I'm on the retail advisory board so it was a good opportunity to deal with some of the industry leaders as well both from the manufacturing side and from the retailer side so it's been a good show so far. Oh, it's been a great experience. Uh, the retailers have been fantastic. Uh, they've been giving us a lot of time, uh, which we know is, is tough to do because they have a lot of uh, area to coverage, uh, but we've been very impressed. The technologies we're seeing help the industry become more efficient. Now, these machines behind me, they're automated and comprehensive robotic storage and retrieval systems. What sounds like weird science is the wave of the future. These new technologies benefit pharmacies in an expansive way. They automate processes, increase inventory, and fit into current pharmacy workflows. They also provide foolproof solutions for packaging accurately in order to eliminate waste. So here we have a strip that you can take by time and date and pill information all on, printed clearly on the label. So this helps a person that's at home remain independent by being able to take their medication correctly. We know that patients stay home, stay safe, stay out of the hospital when they're able to take their medications more on the right time and the right days. So that's what this is all about, at the lowest possible cost. You know, the first step in healthcare is usually health wellness. And today, Johnson & Johnson has set up a health wellness experience right here on the show floor to show attendees their new innovations and new softwares. You know, we have our pharmaceutical business right across the hallway, and then we also have our life skin business here. In addition to that, we also brought some assets uh, with regard to our health and wellness business. So we actually have a little booth over here where we have things like our seven-minute app workout and all kinds of things that we bring. Um, so it's really our one opportunity to bring all of J&J &J, uh, to our customers. I'm here to promote the seven-minute workout, a simple, fast, science-based workout that can, can be done by almost anyone, anywhere, anytime. This is the digital health scorecard from Johnson & Johnson. It introduces the idea of a credit score for your health. You answer seven basic questions, and when you're done, you get an answer, a single number that helps you understand how you're doing and what your long-term risk is for developing chronic disease. Now, as you can see here, the variety at NACDS is ever-changing, especially with innovations. We'll now hear from NACDS TV's Rhonda Craig with more. Rhonda? Thanks, Jackie. Something new at this year's Total Store Expo is Vision 2025. Attendees are getting a glimpse into the future of the industry. Here, representatives from Rockfish Interactive and Kantar Retail are showing us how to personalize the shopping experience for both the shoppers and retailers using mobile technology. Now follow me. Take a look at these checkpoints here on the ground. Every time my enabled smartphone app travels across one of these checkpoints, a new message, a deal, or an offer will pop up on my phone. Now these deals correspond directly to one of these products here on the shelf. This is just another way that retailers can reach out to their customers in real time. These iBeacons are strategically placed in the store out of the customer's view. They send contextual messaging based on where you are in the store. When cu customers are engaged through their retail app, purchases go up almost 20 times versus what they would have been if they hadn't been engaged behind that. As soon as that beacon gets engaged on my app, it can say, here's what my shopping list is, and maybe even give me directions to exactly where I'm going. Another part of Vision 2025 is Checkpoint Systems' use of serialization. This scanner provides real-time visibility to help retailers manage inventory. It's been used successfully in department stores and will be an even greater asset to the chain drug retail industry. 
selling what you have on the floor and also loss prevention okay if you have multiple items being swept from your store and walking out the door you don't know it right now this enables uh, you to figure out okay what are the items which actually walked out the store Continuing with technology on the show floor, Ubidoc is offering attendees a new wire-free charging option. Attendees can check out one of these free portable batteries from the on-the-go charging station. The battery can be returned once the device is fully charged. Just one more way NACDS is keeping attendees connected through the Total Store Expo. You know, oftentimes when you're at a convention like this, um, you lose your battery and it's tough to, to stay connected and uh, these guys have a great product that allows you to, to keep, the, keep consistently be connected so it's, a, it's great. Another great opportunity offered to exhibitors was to expand their exposure with the product showcase. Retailers looking for new merchandising ideas didn't have to travel far to see these top of the line items. The products were prominently displayed front and center on the exhibit hall floor. A product showcase best of the best winner for each product category will be announced on Tuesday. From invaluable exposure to incomparable education, NACDS TV's Sarah Solomon has more on Monday's Insight Session. Thanks, Rhonda. Insight Sessions are still in full swing. The focus today centered around specialty programs. We heard from Ella Laredo today, who touched on breaking with tradition when working with specialty programs. Laredo stated that there needs to be a collaborative effort between the patient, manufacturer, payer, and the pharmacy. During the specialty patient journey, healthcare providers need to put themselves in the patient's shoes in order to provide simple and streamlined service. For especially pharmacy, it's extremely important to be able to understand what the patient's journey looks like for the specific medication they're on, the specific disease state. So it's, it is important for us to not only understand it, but also provide solutions that are patient-centric and that are uh, driven to provide better outcomes on therapy. Dan dumont Sal continued the discussion with a more personal touch. He said that we need to put the patient and family in the center of care. And while specialty pharmacy can be overwhelming, it is the ultimate sophisticated because it is so tailored to the patient. He said to be meaningful and get to know who the patients and customers are in order to provide the best services and investments in the correct programs. Dumont Sao says personalization goes a long way when you consider the patient experience. Challenge the paradigms. What a success the second annual Total Store Expo has been here in Boston. We are thrilled to be part of all of the coverage and we hope to see you next year in Denver, August 22nd to the 25th. For now, I'm Sarah Solomon with NACDS-TV. We'll see you next year.